Right, hello again folks, just going to film another 70 logo golf balls for you. Um, I'll do a very quick pass over them for those of you that only want to see a video that's about one or two minutes long. Okay, you can always pause the video if you want to see something in a little bit more detail. This is going to be a very quick pass by my standards. Okay. Right, there you go, that's it. For those of you that only want to see a very quick pass of what's going to be in the video, that's that. I will say, please bookmark this, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash awesome full HD videos. That's me. Uh, if you bookmark that and then click on where it says playlist, then click on where it says created playlists, then find the playlist that's called uh, golf balls. You'll be able to find all my other logo golf ball videos. So far, I've got over 70 other videos like this to watch on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to film my entire collection of something like four to 5,000 logo balls. So there you go. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first one in this particular lot, Festi. Oh, just because of allow for lighting conditions, it's very dull outside, lots of clouds. I've got light on in this room and I've also got a little overhead light. But allow for lighting conditions, I'll attempt to tell the colour. This is a kind of a darkish blue colour. Festi, don't know anything about that company. I also, I'm going to show what each type of ball is because that can help you to date the ball. Each size stamp represents a different couple of years, especially on tightless balls, so you can work out what year that is. And I'll show you the um, quality of the ball that, that's got a bit of a scuff that's probably hit a thorn or something there uh, because in case I ever sell these in future um, I'm just going to tell someone to watch the videos I'm not going to have time to write down 5,000 different logos so instead I'm, you, you're going to have to watch the videos instead and base your decision on whether to buy based on the videos so there you go Ensor Chartered Accountants a red E like that DT True Soft little bit of a scuff there probably been in a sand trap i should say that all these balls as far as i've been told have come from a number of different courses in cambridgeshire england um at least four or five different courses and most of these have come out of um you know pond, ponds water hazards so someone's used a great big scooping device to scoop them out he doesn't dive but uh so all of these are what i'd call pond wash balls lake balls as far as i know anyway sc anybody know what that stands for it's scuffed, unfortunately. Something like maybe South Carolina or something like that. Some kind of sports team, I'd, I'd guess, based on um, that. Anyway, next. Sterling Bank. Let's just see what that colour is. It's kind of red, blue and red to me. Um, don't know where that is. I don't, haven't heard of it in England, so presumably that could be American, maybe. Next. Kirtlington Golf Club, don't know where that is. Where's Kirtlington? Nice big logo, and that's, I believe, 2022 model of the Titleist True Field Ball when it's got those two red dots. Again, double check anything I say. I'm just going off what I think I know. Um, most cases I'll be pretty accurate, but I could be, you know, slightly off. Next, Northern Bank. Again, not one I've heard of here in England, so that could be an American one. That's on a PTS roll ball. Now, that is in mint condition. Um, when I say mint, ugh, it's a tiny little scuff there. But other than that, when if I ever do find a PTS roll ball these days, they're normally absolutely knackered. So I presume this is like an early year 2000 sort of ball. I think they date to some quite a few years ago. So finding one in mint condition is rare. Next, Rise Technical. That's kind of an orangey red and black logo. Rise technical slight scuff to the E. So as I said, because all these balls have been found, they've all been played. None of these, as far as I know, us have never been hit. So a bit of a scuff there, which hit a thorn, I presume. And that is, I think, a 2022 Pro V1 model when it's got those lines like that. Don't know anything about that company. Next, Waving, nice light blue colour. Waving, not heard of that business, and that looks to be a very new either 2021 or 2022 8333 ball when it's got that side stamp. I think next 1996 to 2021 Hortz celebrating 25 years. Hortz, I do not know what they do. Does anybody? Uh, and again, that's probably about 2021 ball, I would say. Some of these pen marks. Uh, if you ever get pen mark on a ball, 
you can use nail varnish remover on a cotton wool ball, rub away and most times you'll get rid of the pen mark. Try it on a ball you don't mind smudging first to make sure you get your technique down but um, nail varnish remover is the best stuff I've found for pen marks. Next, n nullifier, smart protection, nullifier. I'm trying to get it in focus, sorry folks, I'm trying to get it. Nice colours. Wilson. Ball's very good condition. Next, Riverside Golf Club. As you can see, a slight nick to the uh, L of golf there. You've got a river as part of the logo. Pro V1X, that ball is in mint condition. Next, Apollo Group. Green and yellow logo there, slightly scuffed. You can see the ball's dirty. I didn't clean any of these balls. The person I bought them from cleaned them using bleach in warm water. Left them to soak for a couple of days, I think he says, and then he puts them in cold water to get rid of the bleach. I don't know whether he actually scrubs away at them. So they might clean up a little bit better than this. They might not. It could be that the balls actually absorb some of the um, dirt from the water, is what I suspect. Next... What does that say? Something construction. Something like Poplaff. Could that be a P, the first letter? Poplaff construction. Something like that. Not heard of them. Ball's good condition. Next, Rathbones. I'm pretty sure I found one of these myself, so I've got this logo already. Dark blue lettering, almost purple. Um, and again, 2022 model of a Pro V1. Very nice balls. They cost about £4 each, brand new in the shops. Next. Uh, looks like an angel to me. And it doesn't say anything else other than that. So does anybody know what that is? If you can help out on any of these ones, I don't know. Please say what time into the video I'm talking about. So say at 7 minutes, 18 seconds, the angel logo is... And then explain what you know. Thank you very much. Next, Brickenden Grange Golden Jubilee 2016. I have no idea where Brickenden Grange is. And then you've got a gold shield as a logo like that with quite a bit of detail on it. Okay, that's not bad condition. Next, LLA London Luton Airport. And unfortunately, that yellow bit is someone's pen mark. Ignore that. But LLA, London Luton Airport. Um, yeah, I've been there. And the planes that go to Luton now fly just north of Cambridge. And then they drop down south. When I see them, they've only got about 10 minutes to go before they land at Luton. Uh, they changed the flight pass a few months ago. So they get lots of easy jets, Ryanairs. Um, quite a few business jets go into London Luton as well. So that's a good logo for me to have. And I believe that's a 2022 model, Truefield. Oh, that pen mark I'll have to try and get rid of. Next, Verduba, never heard of that, a V made into a palm tree, nice logo, and pinnacle gold, I felt there's a bit of a scuff here, I could feel that with my finger, a little bit of a scuff there again, could be from club face damage or maybe it's here a tree or something, other than that the ball's mint. Next, Puerto Rico, well, that's a good one to have, Puerto Rico, don't know what that logo is supposed to be, it's almost like a top of like a church building or something isn't it but what's that orange shape supposed to be don't know anyway puerto rico that's a nice one to have and oh it's on a wilson ultra that's a nice one next rr ah, ah, that is rolls royce maker of very good aviation engines obviously they do make a few road cars if you're very rich and you can afford to have one um, I don't like the look of Rolls Royce, I think they look very old fashioned to me, the cars. But uh, famous for their engines, and I know that they cost about, I think it's about £25 million each for the ones that go on something like a Boeing 777. I had no idea engines cost that amount of money, but yeah. Next, De Vere, Slaley Hall, Northumberland, that's in the north of England. Okay, and that is, as you can see, an older type of Pro-V. 
You don't get many number five tightless balls, that's to be said. That ball's very good condition. Next, I can see that that says fish and chips. <laughs> How about that? What does that say? Georgia Aquarium Fish and Chips 2018. <laughs> Georgia Aquarium. Well, is it actually in Georgia, America? That would be interesting if it is. And in case you're wondering, although all these balls have been found in um, Cambridge, during, so presumably most of the golfers are from England, obviously you can go and play at different golf clubs, there is a thing called pond wash balls. They used to import balls that had gone into lakes in American golf courses, import them to England and then sell them to the golf clubs there. So, you know, you can find golf balls from any country um, it's weird how they do get around. Next, what does that say? Something B. P, B, I think that's supposed to say. Red P, and then a, the letter B is kind of a goldish colour. P, B, don't know what that is. Okay. Next. Got a shield logo, and then, oh god, there is some writing, but very hard to make out. What does that say? I don't think I'm going to, be able to make that out unless I use that. Look at it on a bigger screen than my camcorder. It's kind of a light green colour. I don't know what that says up there. And then it says something underneath there. 1893 to 1993, I believe it says at the bottom. What does that say? Oh God. It's extremely difficult to work out. Okay, I'm going to give up. Next, Skoda. I think that was che Czechoslovakian cars, wasn't it? Skoda. There used to be loads of jokes about them in the 1980s. What do you call an open-top Skoda? A skip. <laughs> they were notoriously not good-looking and not particularly reliable, but they were cheap. Nowadays, Volkswagen own them, and apparently, you know, they're a decent car. So, um, there you go. Skoda, the car make. Next, BSS. That looks familiar. Can't think off the top of my head what they do. I think that's a 2022 model of the software when it's got that size stamp like that. That's somebody else's pin mark I need to get rid of. But um, BSS, not sure what they do. Next, Dana. Again, that looks familiar. I've seen that company's logo somewhere, but where? I don't know. Vice, Vice Tour Ball. I can feel a little bit of a tiny bit of a scuff there, I can just feel it with my finger. Dana, okay. Next, Sun Trust. That's possibly, it sounds like a bank or something to me, American bank I would say, but after that, the, you can see this ball is, yeah, the paintwork's coming off it. It's been hit so many times. That's a very old Pro-V one as well. That, that ball there dates to about 2001, 2003, that sort of time frame. So the paint's coming off that one. Next, Polaris World, I think that says. Polaris World scuffed, unfortunately. Don't know what they do. Uh, top Flight XL. You can see the ball's a little bit scuffed. That's that particular material those balding top lights are made of. Next, Electricity, Energy for Life. I'm pretty sure I've already got an Electricity, Energy for Life logo. Don't know if it's the same as this. It's a long time ago when I got mine. Yeah, there you go. Titleist 384 PTS90. These balls here, 384 PTS90, used to find these somewhere between about 1988 and 1991. Used to get loads of them. So that's when I would date that logo to. So take an average of that, say about 1990-ish. Next. MEMC looks to be a little, possibly a little bit of a scuff there to the logo. MEMC. Don't know what that is. Never seen it before in my life. Ball's good condition. Next. Arjo Wiggins graphic. Arjo Wiggins. Don't know anything about them. Ball looks to be and feels to be in mint condition. Look at that. Very nice condition. Obviously I prefer to get golf balls in mint condition but you know, when you collect lots of logo balls, inevitably you do end up with quite a few that aren't in great condition. Um, but it just means I've, at least I've got one. So next, what is that supposed to be? That silver logo. 
Well, it's kind of like a ball on the tee, but what is the actual shape supposed to be? Oh, it's somebody hitting a golf club. Oh, just work that out. All right. The Right Aid Foundation, 2009 classic. Right Aid. What is Right Aid? Well, there you go. That dates that type of ball. So, 2009, you had Burner TP LDP tailor made balls. That's good. That gives me a date. I'll put that one to a sign. Next, Merck, M E R C K, Golf League 2000. You can see the ball's scuffed up. Wilson, distance. Yeah, that's had quite a few whacks, this ball. Next, Golf Online, going that extra yard. Trademark. Okay, so possibly golf holiday, something like that, I would guess. Ball, very good condition. Next. Bletchley Golf Club. Windmill Hill Golf Centre. Nice logo. And that, I think that's about a 2022 model when they've got that size down. It could be 2021, but possibly 2022 model. Ball is mint. Next. Woolwich. That's a building society here in uh, England, I believe. Dark blue kind of a colour. Almost looks purpley on the camcorder. I think that's blue. Very good condition ball, if not mint. Next, SCB Steel City Bearings Limited. And then you've got a phone number there. Steel City Bearings Limited. Don't know what that phone number is. That an American number? Next, Prudential. That's some kind of financial company here in. Uh, I know there's a Prudential in England. I don't know if there's another one in other countries like America. Maybe there's another. That's a 2022 ball, I think. Very good condition. Next, Hankley Common. And then you've got a Fox as the logo, like that. Hankley Common. Don't know where that is. Next. TPC. What does that stand for? Scottsdale. Well, Scottsdale is in Arizona. So this is from USA. You see what I mean about how, how do balls from America end up in English golf course? And again, as I said, people go on holiday. They can buy golf balls when they're abroad. These days, obviously, you've got access to um, eBay, so you could possibly buy stuff off eBay.com. In England, we use eBay.co.uk, but you can, even from the UK site, end up buying stuff from Americans. If you're willing to weigh, pay the um, postage costs, and sometimes you get import fees, which is really annoying. It really hikes up the price of stuff. Um, and like I said, people import balls and sell them so next palm i think that says p-a-l-m would be my guess palm nice logo there looks like is that supposed to be a knight in shining armor at the top in the middle i think there is palm where's that 2021 ball i would guess next cable and wireless Well, wireless would be mobile phone, cell phone technology. When well, cable would be broadband, internet, I presume. So, is that an American company? Oh, some of these initials that needs to come off with a bit of uh, nail varnish remover. Next, Ryder Cup, Oak Hill, slightly scuffed on the European flag versus the Americans. Obviously, a very big tournament that's shown on TV worldwide. Balata, ha. Huh? Balata is supposed to be like a soft cover. Oh, and you've also got Oldsmobile. So Oldsmobile must have paid to sponsor the Ryder Cup that particular year. Next. Waiakola. That sounds like Hawaii to me. Might not be, but that's what it sounds like. Now you can see the ball has been hit rather a lot of times, rather scuffed. I'm not in great condition. 
unfortunately the logo is not too bad. Next. Ogborn Downs Golf Club established 1907 and this is the captain's ball from 2017. And we've got a train as part of the logo, that's rather interesting. Old old steam train. So 2017 this ball dates to. There you go, that side stamp there, there you go, you know what that that, that represents 2017 then if you see a side stamp like that. Ball's mint condition. That's a nice one. Next. Tracel. Never heard of it, don't know what that is. Ah. This type of ball, again, back in my golf ball finding days, I used to get these about 1988 to about 1990ish, I would date that too. That's when I used to find them, so they could date to a bit before that, but just saying, that's roughly when, when I was finding them. So that's an old one. Slightly, you can look at the colour difference, that one there compared to that. The older balls do look yellower, but obviously over, over age they get even more yellowy. Next. Anderson Roofing. Unfortunately, you can see the logo is fairly scuffed. Someone's hand is the logo. B51XD. Now, all that yellowing, that's from a lake. That's probably been stuck in the mud on the lake for years, I should think. Um, yeah, and that's really dirty. I don't know whether that'll clean up or not. Um, these type of ball, again, B51XDs, used to get these again somewhere between about 1988 and 1989-1990-ish. So that's, that's when I would date that ball to. Next, Poppleton and Appleby. Slightly scuffed logo, not perfect. Poppleton and Appleby, never heard of it. Don't know what they do. Oh, and you've got that on the bottom. Huge great heart with uh, golf clubs. That's nice. That's rather a good logo. So two logos for the price of one. Next, uh, Purple W, and then, is that supposed to be an L, W, L, maybe? Would be my guess. Don't know what that represents. Next. The Tor Shed, and then a weird shape. Unfortunately, you can see a little bit of scuff, a little bit of inks come off. But apart from that, the ball is mint condition, so. Next. Crosscom, never heard of it before. We've got a cross there and then that symbol there, Crosscom, don't know what they do. I certainly never heard of it before in my life. Balls, mint pretty much really. Next, Forte, I believe that's a hotel chain. They used to sponsor a Formula 3 car here in the British Formula 3 Championship back in the early 1990s, so that's how I know about that. Forte, but yeah, hotel chain ball is mint condition. That's beauty. Next, Le Chateau Montebello Golf Club. Okay, uh, ball is in very good condition, pretty much mint. Tiny little mark there, but other than that, very good condition. Next. Devere Dunstan Hall. Devere is a hotel chain, I believe. Dunstan Hall. Don't know exactly where that is. Anyway, appears to be a hotel, possibly for the golf complex. Next, Burden Civils. I've already got this logo myself. I found one or two of them myself, so I've definitely got this as a swap or a spare. Ball feels in mint condition. Next. Which way around this goes like that? I think SH on a green leaf with a grey leaf as a background. SH, don't know what that is. Ball's very good condition. Next, Scott Bader. And then you've got this blue logo at the bottom. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It almost looks like a pheasant's head, doesn't it, to you? That bit there at the top, pheasant head maybe. Scott Bader, what's that? Oh, that's interesting. This type of ball, Wilson Ultra 432, used to get loads of these. Again, I think I first found one about 1988, 1989, and then 
1999 one used to get loads of them. Very popular ball back then. Next, SG and CC. So CC would be country club. G is usually golf. Um, 2022 Titleist ball. Don't know what that is. Next, person playing golf logo. That's a nice big logo. That's good. See that? Quite a lot of detail to that logo. Don't know what that is though. Anybody know what that represents? Is that a brand or company or what? Let me know. Chrysler Systems Leasing. Chrysler is obviously an American car manufacturer, automobile manufacturer. I don't know about the systems leasing part. Systems? Chrysler Systems Leasing. Unfortunately, it looks like a little bit of a a bleed from the um, printing on that one. Oh, Dunlop Blue Max. Don't get many of those. Don't get any. Well, I've never found one here in England, but um, presumably this is an American. Well, I know there's really old versions of the Dunlop Blue Max that people like to collect because they're so old, but so there you go. That's that. Next. Big Sky something golf pure golf 